Yes. Had a good evening last night? Yes. 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 That was cool, wasn't it, those guys? Um, and the bell. And the bell. Yeah. We actually, I once tried that in the lecture. <laughs> I gave a bell to a student. They didn't like what I was saying. They just ding the bell, but it didn't, it didn't last. Very long. <laughs> the other thing I thought we could try today is uh, texting and questions. You know, that's an interesting question. The combined Moffat's thing with uh, with the texting and stuff. Um, who knows? Anything could happen. But. Uh, Oh, right, and special thanks to the people who let Steve out of the quad last night, too. I see he's not here. But, uh, so it turns out that that quad gets locked, so you can't get out of fish late at night. Oh, <laughs> but he did have everyone's cell phone numbers because he'd been picking up from the airport. So, uh, so thanks to whoever's cell phone number came up first. Um, but, so, uh, yeah, for the next wee while, I um, plan to talk about the Level 2 standard. But... Um, as I mentioned yesterday, part of the idea of this is just to give you a big vision of all the stuff that's happening in computer science. Uh, you know, of course, many of you have done computer science, some of you have never done computer science, and some of you are probably wondering if you ever do want to do computer science. But um, we've, we've heard from some postgrad students yesterday, like Joey and Philip, and some professors, um, we've seen Tanya and Andy and so on. Um, but I realised one uh, group that we haven't represented yet is our undergrad students, and so I hastily asked Tegan if she would mind talking to us very briefly about her experience uh, as an undergrad student here. So I'll let you introduce yourself and let us know. And you can ask your questions about it. Hi everyone, um, I'm Tegan. I've just finished my um, second year here at Kent University of Henry and I'm doing my third year next year. And at the moment I'm doing some research, um, summer research project, which I actually really enjoy. It's quite fun. We do about 15 hours a week. but. That's what you're supposed to do, but we actually do a lot more. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm thinking of doing honours the year after that, so I'm going to have to take a lot of papers next year. That's all right. <laughs> I think you have to take like six or seven or something. But really, my love for computer science started like way back in high school, where I was learning under Miss Goff Jones at Menzai High, <laughs> and that was um, <laughs> and it was really fun. And even though I was like the oh, pretty much, I think I was the only girl in the class last two years. <laughs> but then I thought to myself, well, I enjoy it. I might as well, you know, start a trend, be like <laughs> one of the first girls to, you know, go through and do it. Um, but no, I really enjoyed it. I found it was really helpful. Like the stuff I learned at Vinci Power really helped me in the first year of um, computer science because we learned. Python and then the first year was like introductory to Python so it really helped me have like a bit of an edge over a lot of students because I already knew like the basic stuff so it was really helpful and um, yeah I really enjoy it and then this year I did um, lots of different papers and it was um, quite good and <laughs> yeah um, any questions or anything you'd like to ask? Yes? Have you ever felt even faintly intimidated in the uh, Yes, I have felt intimidated because I think at the moment there's only <coughs> about 15 or 20 girls out of 200 people, so it's quite intimidating, but I'm quite a confident person, so it doesn't really faze me too much because I'm kind of used to it now. <laughs> like, the ratio, it doesn't really bother me much anymore. Any other questions? Yes? What are you doing in your summer... Research. I don't actually, am I allowed to tell people what I'm doing? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's not secret. I don't think so. Some of the stuff here is Yeah, yeah. Um, basically, I'm working in um, Intelligent Computer Systems Group, and um, what I'm working on is people's memories. So um, I'm building software to help test people's um, retrospective and prospective memory. So retrospective is like past memory and perspective is future memory. So yeah, it's going to be quite, it's actually really interesting because I actually do a bit of psychology as well. So that's tying into my computer science, but my main, like my major topic is computer science, but I've just got psychology on the side really. Yes? Oh, I'm teaching a girls' school. Oh, great. Okay. <laughs> 
what do you think would be a good way to encourage more girls to do computer science? Um, I think the main thing why girls won't do computer science is because they think that it's just for guys. Like people will be like, oh no, I don't want to do it. It's too hard. Um, it's not for me. But I don't know. I just actually a friend suggested it to me. She said, you know, you really like computer tech, and why don't you try doing computer programming? And I was like, mm, I don't know. And then she's like, no, really, give it a go. So maybe um, we had a group here last week, the girls programming challenge. Yeah, so that was really good. Like how getting them into things like that really helps um, get them interested because a lot of the girls were really interested once we like brought them in and they saw what they actually what programming was actually about and they actually found it really fun. So yeah, stuff like that is always good. Any more questions? Yeah. Sorry. extremely competitive person <laughs> so I'm always like oh what did you get what did you get but um, yeah it is reasonably competitive but the the thing is with computer science um, everyone the pe a lot of the students that really want to do well um, there's either people that do well like they get like B's B, B pluses A's and there's like a brush a big section of the students and then there's like hardly anyone in the middle and there's people who do like bad and don't put any effort in so like most of the marks are quite similar because a lot if you do if you do put that work in then you get that high mark so yeah it is reasonably competitive but it's not like elbows and, <laughs> and it's not <laughs> because you've been um no i don't think so i mean most of my friends in computer science are guys and they're all like reasonably supportive of me and i'll be like oh can you help me and they'll be like yeah sure and sometimes they ask me for advice it's it's quite good actually they're, they're pretty good to work with. There's no like, oh, she's female, stay away from her. <laughs> yes? Where do you see your studies taking you? Where do you usually end up? Oh, God. I really don't know. I'm just hoping to like slowly take each year by year, and then when I have to make a decision, I'll just have to do it then. <laughs> but I, I really don't know. I'm just enjoying being at university at the moment, and I'll probably stay for as long as I can before I have to make some sort of decision. <laughs> yes? Sorry, going back to high school, which is probably yeah. the last time I don't know. Um, what was the hook about uh, Python that you enjoyed? Um, well, I really enjoyed making GUIs. I found that really fun. And we also did um, Game Maker, which I really enjoyed because it was like quite basic programming because it was like um, very, you didn't have to write much code. It was all like, you use like buttons and stuff and you, and you make games and I found that really fun. And we also did, um, I think, uh, robotics in a sense. So we had to program some robots and then we had like little robot wars. It was lots of fun. That kind of got me hooked. I was like, wow, that's quite cool. <laughs> it's a lot cooler than like some of the other stuff I had to like. Um, yeah, 12. Yeah. And then we did more Python, I think, in GUIs in year 13. And that was quite good because then I used, I think in one to one, we then did um, Python <laughs> and a wee bit of GUIs in one to one. So that was quite good. So I already had some past experience. So that was really helpful. Any other questions? Yeah. <laughs>